In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for FeCl3 plus NaOH. That's this iron 3 chloride plus this sodium hydroxide. The first thing we need to do is to write the balanced molecular equation. So if I put a 3 here and then a 3 here, this equation it's balanced. So that's the balanced molecular equation. Next, we write the states for each of these compounds here. So we are going to assume that these are both going to be soluble in water. They're going to be dissolved in water and aqueous. Chlorides are very soluble and then sodium hydroxide, that's a strong base. It dissociates completely. So I'm just going to write AQ. These are aqueous or dissolved in water. On the product side, this iron 3 hydroxide, hydroxides are sometimes or quite often insoluble. So I'd want to look that up on a solubility table just to, to make sure. And I can see I have this iron 3 here and then a hydroxide. So I go down and across and that I, that means it's insoluble. So this is going to be a precipitate. It's going to be at the bottom of the test tube. We're going to write an S for solid. And while we're here, here's sodium and here's the chloride. So if we go down here, we can see sodium chloride. That's soluble. So we're going to write a little AQ dissolved in water. So those are the states. Next thing that we need to do, now that we've got these states, we want to split the soluble compounds apart into their ions. That's going to be the complete ionic equation. And to do that, we need to know the charges on each of these ions. So we can use the periodic table. That can be quite helpful for determining the charge on the ions. So iron transition metal, we don't know that, but chlorine, that has a minus one or one minus, I should say. So there's three of them. So this has to be three plus sodium group one, one plus right here, sodium. And then the hydroxide, that's not on the periodic table. Um, we can either have memorized that it has a negative charge, or we could look here on a table of common polyatomic ions. And here's the hydroxide. It's got that minus charge. So we can use that and that's going to be minus. So we've got these charges here. On the product side, pretty simple. We have this minus here. We have three of them. So this has to be three plus sodium. We said was positive chloride ion is negative. We have all the charges. Now we can split them up. I have F E and that's three plus, and I'm not going to write aqueous each time. We'll write that at the end plus C L that chlorine. We said that was negative, but we have three of them. So we need a coefficient of three plus N A plus it's the sodium ion. There's three of those plus that hydroxide ion. We said that was a negative. And this three, it applies to everything. So we have three hydroxide ions. Let's shrink this down. On the product side, this is a solid here. We said we we're going to split the soluble compounds. Since it's a solid, it's not soluble. So we just write FeOH3. So we leave this as a solid. Put a little S there. Then we have the three sodium ions plus three of the chloride ions. So now we've split everything apart into the ions. We can cross out the spectator ions. These are the ions that appear on both sides. So when we do net ionic equations, we're interested in what changed. So I have three Cl minuses here and three here. They didn't change. So I'm not interested in those as a chemist. We have three Na plus ions and three here. They didn't change, so we're going to cross them out. And that'll leave us with the net ionic equation for FeCl3 plus NaOH. And that'll look like this. So there you have it, the net ionic equation for iron 3 chloride plus sodium hydroxide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.